Well, the first thing came in, and I believe this one is the rocks. I can hear it. And I don't know which package this is. It may be the light. We'll see. So the Amazon box would actually be the U.S. Contra Soil Contra Soil. So this is quite interesting. I've never seen rocks shipped directly like that, straight, <laughs> straight in a box. Now, any protection, but they made it here. They look intact. They don't look super crumbly. And this is the uh, black lava rock that uh, the Planet Tank was using on his Clear 16. And I really liked how porous it is, could give a good way for uh, the plants to really grab it. I mean, it's real, really rough. Should look nice. So I'm still waiting on the light, and that should be about it. I, I already have a uh, a filter, which will be the Alclear uh, 20 or 30, I believe I have already. I'm gonna maybe go to the Sun Sun canister filter, but in the meantime, I just wanna get this thing started and the Sun Sun canister filter will not be in it. sort of take a while, maybe a couple weeks to get in, so I didn't even wanna order it. I already wanna go ahead and start it up and get the cycling process going, so. We'll see. So, I'm almost done. I've got almost everything that I needed from Amazon. And things cost, started costing a little bit more, and I'm a little annoyed by that. But I started thinking about things, and I'm like, man, this, I need this. I need another jug. I need more soil. That costs more money. And I guess I sort of got underestimated by how big this tank actually is. And I'm not putting it on this stand. I actually have a person on uh, Facebook that I looked um, for like some farm table looking stands and I saw that they could make custom ones and I was like hey I want to do a custom uh, stand that can hold weight that's around 150 150 pounds and I'm like yeah sure we'll build one take a couple days so I really can't probably start the tank until I do that don't know when that's gonna be because that was three days ago and I haven't heard anything from them so I don't think this stand will hold 150 pounds. It's sort of like an old antique looking table, but it might hold it, but I'm not gonna trust it. I don't wanna break this tank and everything that costs inside of it. So I'm gonna play it smart, be it, do it slow. Reef tanks really teach you everything about doing everything slow. So watch these next clips and you'll see what more of the finished product looks like. So what do I get in this, these boxes? All right, what I got in this box is this, I don't even know what it's called, I just just ordered it. The 24-7 Planted HLC, I guess is what it's called. Yeah. Oh, Phoenix. Yeah, that's what it was supposed to be. All right, this is my first test at turning on this light. Let's see what it does. Uh, demo. Whoa. Whoa, this thing has got some light. Got a lot, a lot of colors. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's like a storm function, and I really oh, guys, we have thunderstorms in this tank. 
These fish are about to have some epileptic seizures. Oh my God. This is crazy. This is a cloud function. Um, I don't, don't see any difference there. This is the sun. This is nighttime. I don't, I mean, it has blue, red, and green light. That doesn't seem like that should be nighttime. But I don't know. I'll play with this, guys, and try to learn it before the actual water and everything gets in the tank so these fish don't freak out. What are you doing? This is like a wolf stare. My bad, guys. My dog was doing something weird. But stay tuned. Um,. In the cut next couple clips, I'll be having more updates on this. And two seconds later, I get another package from Amazon. Right as I finish this video, um, by a non-UPS vehicle. But hey, they're doing that. That's cool. So what I got was another five-gallon. I already had one for the roof tank. It's right there that I got. I've had for a long time when I was in college. And these work better than the little five gallon buckets, I think. And this one's just all my fresh water, so I want to top off on there. But since this tank, this tank is 16 gallons, I'm going to need two of those puppies. And depending after uh, how much rock I'm using, which is the lava rock down there, I'll post a link for that from uh, Bruce Plant and uh, BrucePlant.com, my bad. We'll see how much water I need left over. I'm thinking, I, I think the tank's still only going to be about right around 12 gallons, give or take, with the weight that's in the tank. So, then I might just have to use that one, but that's another, another issue. So, I'm still waiting on my uh, Sun Sun canister filter. I got... Um, that because I went home or went to my parents house where I have a lot of old storage and I didn't have my AquaClear uh, Filter that I wanted. I don't know if it was AquaClear 20 or AquaClear 30, but I used to have uh, a DIY uh, Aquarium out of a 10 gallon out from Walmart uh, when I was in college and I just wanted a roof tank so I I thought I still had that. I think we gave it to Goodwill earlier in the year when they were cleaning out their garage and I was just like, yeah, I don't care. I don't use it. I got the this tank with the filter on the back. So I didn't need it anymore. Then I wanted the uh, planted tank. I've always wanted to do one and, and yeah, couldn't find it. So I ended up buying that Sun Sun canister filter that the plant tank uses. And I'll put all these links um, from the Amazon uh, website for everything that I've purchased. So you guys can do it yourself if you want, but pretty excited. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. And the sun sun canister filter came in. Already. Just need water. Just need water. Boxes. We've got the water in the tank and the new stand, custom made by someone on Facebook. Got a little water up here for a hundred dollars. Got rid of the other one, way more sturdy, very thick boards. Change the rockscape a little. But yep, yeah, let's set up the, pit, the filter. And I picked up two Amazon uh, sword plants. The uh, they were the only two pretty ones I saw that I would I bought from Petco. Otherwise, I would buy from Bruce Plant. But I got to get some green in there. And Petco is sort of the only uh, planted nicer uh, plant place in town. Does that make sense? Planted store place so and there's were directly in the water 
instead of like in those little like plastic jar things that like PetSmart has. And those were sort of like, you know, they weren't completely submerged. They probably haven't, ev you know, evolved or transformed into their water uh, self. So I went with the ones that were already submerged. So they already sort of started that process. But, yep, either the fish are going to die, which Petco said, if you bring the bodies, we'll reimburse you or we get your, uh, your fish back within 30 days. So, salute to Petco. We got some neon tetras. Got us, got all the ones that this pet smart. The guy looked like he almost killed a couple. Of them. How crazy he grabbed them, but got those. And we're gonna go to the next one because that wasn't enough. We need about 20. When I mean 20, I mean 20. So I thought about 30, but I think 20 is fine. Yeah, it's a 16 gallon tank, and they're this big. They're not gonna. They're not gonna be an issue. They're gonna be totally fine. And then we. It's a schooling fish, and we want a school. We don't just want like a couple. We got a couple stragglers swimming off to the corner. We want a school. All right. That's what we're going for. A school, planted tank. Let's do it, guys. The water, because I had to get two of these yesterday, and it still wasn't enough. So we got. We got more. We got more. Okay. So. Petco only had 10. So we're going with 16 right now. <laughs> Just can't win. Just can't win. So I put the plants in, got the fish. This is the Petco school. This is the Pet Smart school. And it's probably hard to tell. Let's, here we go. But the Pet Smart school, they don't have as good of colors for some reason. I don't know if that's just me, but it seems like the Petco school has a healthier red coloration to them. Might just be me. I don't know. But I didn't get the video of putting them all in there because I was having issues putting the plants in. I didn't, don't have those tongs. Got these. The eyebrow pickers. <laughs> right to you. But yeah, my water's really cold. I totally forgot about putting the heater in. So these fish are going subarctic. Can you see that? Yeah. Probably pretty, pretty bad, but plants will live. Fish might <laughs> not. Hopefully they do. But here it is. I'll do another video in a second when everything is set free. Here's the final update um, with all the plants that I got over the weekend. Can't tell you all the names besides Amazon Sword, Salvia, which is like the duckweed. Um, that's a banana plant. Don't know what this long one is. Didn't remember. Um, that one, do you start with an L? But only lost one neon tetra out of 16. But here's what it is at the moment. Bottles, poppin' bottles! Hey!